If you're an outdoor activity loving family and into such things as hiking, running or trekking and you want a four legged friend to take along with you, the Staffy Cross Labrador would make a fantastic choice. This cross is not only energetic, but they're also devoted and terrific with children. So what is a Staffy Cross Labrador? The Staffy Cross Labrador is a crossbreed or hybrid of the two most popular dogs in the UK, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier or Staffy and the Labrador Retriever. This crossbreed comes in at a height of 17 to 24 inches, weighs 40 to 80 pounds and can live 10 to 14 years. The Staffy Cross Labrador is highly intelligent with a lot of energy and be warned, they shed a lot. So what is a Staffy Labrador cross called? The Staffy Cross Labrador is known by several names such as Staffadors, Labrastaff, Staffy Lab, Labrador Cross Staffy and Staffy Cross Labrador. How long do Staffy Labradors live? As previously mentioned, Staffadors live between 10 and 14 years. This figure is only an estimate and we base it on the lifespans of the Labrador and Staffy. Labradors typically have a shorter lifespan than the smaller Staffy. So the genes the puppies inherit will partly determine their lifespan. Other factors will be important, like the health of the parent dogs. This will be a crucial factor in how their offspring develop. In addition, the dog's owners will influence the dog's lifespan, feeding the dogs a quality, age-appropriate diet with regular health checkups and vaccinations when necessary or play their part in a dog's life expectancy. What are the characteristics of the Staffy Lab? When you mix a Staffordshire Bull Terrier and a Labrador, the result is a medium-sized dog that is robust and well-built. Typically, you'll see a broad head and a long, permanently wagging tail. If a dog with low energy levels that will lay by the fire all day is what you're looking for in a furry companion, the Labra Staff is most definitely not for you. This cross will inherit the Staffies and Lab's high energy, dash everywhere personality. Much of what we talk about here is conjecture because no one knows how much of each parent they'll inherit until the puppies come along. They could have the thick, dense waterproof coat of the Lab or the short, smooth coat of the Staffy. Staffies live a little longer than Labs, which might extend the puppy's lifespan. In addition, the Staffy is a bit healthier than the Labrador, so hopefully that will also pass to the litter. A propensity to be overweight is a problem for both parent dogs, mainly because the Staffy and the Lab are greedy dogs and will eat until they burst, so attention needs to be given to this area when the puppies grow a little older. Labradors are always one of three colours, black, yellow or chocolate, but Staffies can come in various solid colours and brindle. The parents' colours will determine the puppy's coat colour. Moving on to Staffy Labrador temperament. The Labra Staff is known for its tolerance to young children. With family-oriented parent breeds, that's to be expected. Overly enthusiastic play from children is unlikely to antagonise the Labra Staff. Being such people pleasers and wanting to be into everything going on with their family, you'll naturally have a dog that doesn't enjoy long periods alone. You can be sure that your children and Labra staff will have a great time if you provide them with a secure area where you can keep your eyes on them. Even though they are lovable, they are still pretty big dogs for young children. Add in the boisterous nature, especially when young, and accidents can happen. So that's a quick rundown on the Staffy Lab. For more things Staffy related, head to staffydog.com and subscribe to this channel for new Staffy videos every week. Thank you for watching.